Speculation is mounting over the possible deployment of the U.S. Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System, also known as THAAD, to the Korean Peninsula. This as the South Korean and American defense chiefs are set to meet in Seoul next week. Connie Kim reports. Will they or won't they? With around a week remaining until U.S. Defense Secretary Ashton Carter arrives in Seoul for talks with his South Korean counterpart Han Minggu, the elephant in the room is whether they touch upon the possible deployment to the Korean Peninsula of the U.S. missile defense system called THAAD. The U.S. government has not formally proposed talks on THAAD. If Carter suggests official discussions, it becomes a political issue. So in Washington will then be pressed to make a decision. Some observers believe a bigger issue needs to be addressed before the U.S. proposes talks about THAAD. Experts say that Seoul and Washington would have to agree on the severity of the North Korean nuclear threat in order for THAAD talks to proceed. Budget sequestration in the U.S. meant defense spending was cut. The U.S. believes North Korea has scaled up its nuclear threat, so the Pentagon says it needs more funds. The South Korean government, on the hand, is not keen on increasing its defense budget. Other experts think THAAD is unlikely to come up during Carter's visit. China's reaction on the THAAD issue, very controversial. I don't think he's going to raise any controversial issues at all. Rather, he will say the U.S. commitment to the defense of South Korea. China and Russia say THAAD threatens their national security because the system's radar has a range of up to 2,000 kilometers, meaning it would cover significant parts of their mainland territories. Sandwiched between Beijing and Washington, Observers say Seoul must make its own objective decision and not be swayed by the superpowers. However, until official talks on THAAD materialize, the two countries will focus on trying to find common ground on security, military and diplomatic issues at upcoming defense talks in Washington and Singapore. Connie Kim, Arirang News.